Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a squonker. And this is from Metal Madness Vapors and it's called the PAM BF. Now this has been out for a little while now and there are reviews out there, but I was lucky enough to be given one by Demetrius when I was over in Paris. So thank you very much for that. Um, and it looks like this. Now this is the Delrin one and this comes in, I think it's 329 euros that this comes in at. You can also get limited edition ones. Uh, they start at 430 euros to 499 euros. And there's also ceramic coated versions as well that come in at 390 euros. Now be aware that you will have to join Facebook and join the Facebook group if you want to get a hold of these. It's the only way you're going to get them unless you go second hand. Now my one did come in a, a box like this, protection box, with lovely dovetails and so on in it. And uh, there is a, a protected case in there as well. I'll show you that in the close-ups. But um, I think that's about it. Did I mention left-handed and right-handed? Sure I did. Uh, this is a right-handed one and you get a left-handed configuration as well. Now as I said, it came in that beautiful box, but uh, there's also this case as well, protection case. And in there was an authenticity card as well and there was also a little beauty ring in there as well. Now as I said this is Delrin, uh, black Delrin, I've seen white ones as well and it's yeah, <sighs> this is pretty damn gorgeous. Um, now up here we have a Modmaker 510 and this will take up to 24mm atomizers. I will add that they the didn't always use the mod maker. I think they used a, a Fat Daddy before. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but uh, I do know that they offer a conversion service. You can send your mod back and get it converted to the mod maker 510. It is a single 18650, which goes in here. I don't really have any issues with, uh, you know, unscrewing this. I mean, I've got big old fat fingers and, uh, you know, it comes off no problem battery goes in, positive up, and jobs are good in. I do sometimes find it a little bit tricky to get the cap on, but I think, like I say, I think that's more just me and big fingers than anything else. You can see you've got your stainless steel tube running up the back here. So DNA 75, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, sorry, there we go, right way around, Pam BF, and yeah, it's just your standard DNA 75, USB charge point here, and you can connect it to eScribe and so on. I'll I'll cover what it's like to vape with this because it's kind of hard to show you in the close-ups. But uh, yeah, you can tell from the cutouts and the way this just really does fit in the palm of your hand very, very nicely. Now it does use these Cappy BFX bottles, uh, eight and a half mil capacity, and these have been customized, you know, to work with this mod. You've got that little hole there, and literally all you do is just take it, push it in, job done. Now you can see that if, if I just push this a little bit, you can, hopefully you can see that, you can get a nail in underneath there and you can pull the bottle down, or you can actually just pinch the bottle and pull it down as well. The bottle goes in and out without any issues, and I've not had any, actually I've not had any issues with the mod at all, but uh, yeah, the bottle goes in and out, no problem. In overall height is just over 79, about 79.5 millimeters in overall height. But once again, you've got this recessed piece here and you know, your atty is going to sit in there up to 24 millimeters in diameter. And that's really all I have to show you in the close-ups. Uh, and I'm getting e-liquid all over this as usual, but uh, no issues with the firing button. I mean, it is not totally flush, but it is quite flush there and you know, it, it's got a nice soft click going on to it there and all the functions are as you would expect in a DNA 75. Now that was kind of short and sweet in the close-ups uh, because this is all about using it. Uh, right now I have a Haku with a, a Munos bell cap on top, a Cyan Mod drip tip and I am using the supplied beauty ring there to take it out to the 24mm and it just makes it look a little bit tidier. This is where this works. It just fits right in the palm of your hand beautifully. Uh, I love this mod a lot, an awful lot. Um, this is, now I've got a, a lot of mods that have come my way this year, squonkers that I have thoroughly enjoyed and I've kept quite a few of them because there's been some belters come out this year. 
but this is the one that I think I have gelled with the quickest out of all of them. Um, now, I've had other mods that are similarly styled that fit in the palm of your hand like this, uh, but this one is even smaller and it's just really, really well finished. It's really well finished. If anything, and this will probably be my only criticism, is that I have quite big paws and I almost find this too small for, for me. Do you know, for my size of hands, the firing button probably would have been better there because it's just, it's a tiny wee mod. It really is. A quick vape here. My other negative, if I had to level one against it, and this is entirely down to me and nobody else, is that I, for some reason, seem to, um, I, I just have e-liquid all over my hands all the time. It's just part of the gig. And, do you know, I'm constantly having to wipe down the mod because I'm getting sticky e-liquid fingerprints all over it. Once again, that's me, that's not the mod. Uh, but with the Delrin body, it's very hard wearing and and I'm struggling. Yes, you do have to go to Facebook to grab this. Um, not everybody's gonna enjoy that. Um, just, I'm, I'm just, if, if I was to tell, give you any other negatives, I would be making them up. It makes me look fat. There you go. Actually, I'm fat anyway, but. I'm stretching, stretching for negatives. It really is a, a great little mod. 329 euros for a regulated DNA 75. Um, do you know, considering it's all down to your budget at the end of the day, it's all, you know, budgets down to each person. To some people, this may be cheap. To some people, it may be completely out with their budget. But I will say that I have seen non-regulated squonkers, 3D printed squonkers, the same price as this. So I do think in comparison, it's actually really, really good. It does only come with one bottle and I think you're looking at about 20 euros if you want to pick up another one. And, and, and I'll, I'll just shut up now. Listen, I'll stop there. Um, as I said, I've reviewed the uh, mods for these guys for years now and I've not liked all of them. In fact, some of them I didn't like at all. And I've always been honest in that one. Um, but this, for me, I think this is possibly the best thing they've done. Uh, it really does tick all the boxes for me. And I think if you have one, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, as I said, it uses the ModMaker 510 now. The older ones didn't. Uh, you can send yours back to get upgraded to the ModMaker 510 if you so desire. I'm going to stop there because this is possibly the, the rambliest, waffliest review I've ever done. I'm actually struggling. I knew before I started recording this I was going to struggle because uh, I like the mod that much. So to Demetrius, Miriam and Georgius, thank you so much as always. Uh, I did get this free to show off to you guys. Go and watch the other reviews. It's not just me that loves this. Go and watch other reviews and you'll see what other people are saying. But as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.